<laughs> um, remind me a little bit, um, and I'll start to like kick into things and we'll just have a chat. What did you all do prior to this course? Because it's been a while since we spoke. What what do you, I mean, we were just talking before, Emma, you're at the pharmacy, but you've done something else previously as well. Is that right? Yes, good memory. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did a photography degree for three years, um, pretty much straight out of high school. And then once I got my like qualifications and everything, I did a couple of weddings and realized how crazy they are and how I'm such an introvert and like my anxiety is like, nope, we're not doing this. <laughs> so <laughs> then I was like, okay. So then I went back into uh, like part-time work at a wedding florist and then mm -hmm. at the pharmacy. And then I was like, nah, bugger this. I need to do something. And I found this, vet nursing, because I love animals. So it worked in well. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Can you remind me what you'd done some study before previously as well? Yeah. Yeah. What, um, yeah where were you? Um, I did a year and a half of a nursing degree um, at Deakin before this, um, which I loved all of the like clinical side of things. But during my placements, I just kind of decided that it wasn't really for me working with humans. And I've always loved animals. So this was kind of a no brainer. Um, Definitely appreciate yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cheyenne, what had you done before this? I was trying to remember. I was racking my brains because I know we've spoken about this before. What do you do for work currently? What have you done before? I'm not, I mean, I ha no, like I haven't working none, but um, I was doing eight or individual, I mean. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, I was doing individual support, so aged care, and it was pretty much the same as Kia. I started my placement and was like, no, this is definitely not for me. I think I did like two days and was like, no. Um, <laughs> like I liked learning all about it but not doing it. And then I say my animals just pretty much a no-brainer as well. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely four legs wins out over two legs all the time. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> not even a competition. Um, if you think back to uh, probably January last year or um, even before that potentially, what uh, do you remember what maybe made you pick Box Hill originally or do you remember that deciding point where you applied? Do you, do you, did you hear from somebody? Had you? I don't think any of you have studied with us previously, but what kind of sent you towards us? Um, for me it was location. I hated with my photography degree, it took so long to travel there and back because it was on South Bank and I just lived so far away. So I knew I wanted to work with animals. And then when I saw that the course was offered at Lilydale campus, which is really like near me, um, it just sold me straight away. I was, I think I was always going to do it, but just, yeah, that was my deciding factor. And I was like, yep, yeah, I'm doing it. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What about the rest of you? <laughs> You go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for me, location as well. Um, I mean, Box Hill and Lilydale are both pretty reasonable distance from where I live. Um, but also looking through just the course outline and everything that was um, offered, it just kind of stood out to me more than the other ones that I looked at. Yeah, I agree. I think I looked at. Originally, I thought I wanted to study online. Now, because of COVID, that has definitely changed. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I originally wanted to study online and then, I mean, I, I didn't want to go to Box Hill campus just because that whole area, like, driving freaks me out a bit, like, the busyness. But Lilydale was so close. So that was kind of, yeah, just it just felt good. And um, the, like, the days, it wasn't like, I feel like the one day a week is really good for, like, first getting into like animal studies because it's not super overwhelming to have to go every day or like a lot of days a week so the whole just like outline of the course just was appealing. Suited. All right excellent. So um, talk to me a little bit about some of the networks maybe that you've made. Have you, I know it's been a bit of an odd year, but have you been able to, I guess, create a bit of a social network within your class, within between each other? Um, has that uh, kind of 
taken off at all or <laughs> <laughs> like with like with meeting people in your classroom yeah yeah or talk, I mean for you guys maybe not meeting in person so much currently but <laughs> I feel like well, I don't know about anyone else but I, I remember the first day of orientation I was so nervous I yeah. thought like I I wanted I guess it like made me feel better knowing that there was potential to like at least make friendships with people that even if it's just at school and like just have that kind of so it wasn't so stressful every week in class and I was so nervous that that wouldn't happen and then literally on the orientation day everyone just is so because I think it's a different environment when you're going to school somewhere where everyone is choosing to be there no one's being forced everyone wants to be learning that so it's cool to like bond with people and even your teachers just over like the mutual interest so like it was a lot easier to like become friends with people and like get to know people and all that stuff. Shai, was it you that sat next to me on the first day of orientation? I think it was. I think I just started talking to you and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm so anxious, I'm just going to talk to someone and like <laughs> whatever, just break the tension. Yeah, it was but, good. You're like, can I have a pen? I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How, how did you go, Kia? Were you nervous on your first day? Yeah, I was really nervous on my first day, but um, pretty much as soon as I walked in, I just kind of felt comfortable in a way. Like everyone was there for the same goal. We all had a similar interest in, you know, we all loved animals and it just kind of, yeah, we were able to connect and make friendships really quickly and just bond over that fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um. What, I know it's a bit hard for you guys, particularly in the group that you're in, but if you think back to term one, <laughs> what did you think were the really good parts about the course when you were on campus uh, and going to TAFE every single week for that day and participating in those kind of face-to-face -face classes? Thoughts? Feelings? <laughs> Um, well, I'm a very, like, hands-on visual learner, so I love, like, being in the classroom and stuff, but I really loved that, um, like, your cats are going to be there, and then Luna popped up every now and again, and it just made me feel, it, I think it relaxed the whole class when an animal came in. It was just, everyone chilled out and realised, okay, yeah, now we can learn, and I think the way, like, you, back in term one, it was ages ago, um, but I liked how there was like PowerPoints and stuff because I learned that way, but then you reinforced it with worksheets as well, which was kind of my hands-on reinforced learning, which worked. Um, but yeah, I feel like we weren't there for very long and then we got booted out. <laughs> I know you guys haven't had much of an opportunity there, but I think that's something um, that I want to ask you as well is how, um, and you know, we can touch base for, for Cheyenne, for Kia, how you feel about on campus, but how do you feel about your off campus remote delivery study that you've been doing? Obviously it's not uh, what you signed up for, but are there um, benefits? Are there negatives? What, how, what are you feeling in terms of your course at this point in time since you've only got a term to go before you graduate? <laughs> I think um, at first doing online, like the transition was really hard. I think it was really hard to get like motivated because you have to motivate yourself more, especially when you can literally do class in your bed. Like it's, like, <laughs> it's hard to like, be motivated but I mean it was there was there's definitely some negatives like not being able to do all of the activities together and I mean Kia um Emma and I and Danny had a group chat where we would talk during class and like ask like you know talk about the class and whatever um but it was definitely like a big transition from like going in class where it didn't really feel like a classroom and it felt very like like you were just like a group of friends like about to hang out and talk about a mutual interest to like walking to your living room to study is like super weird but like there there was still like you know activities that I feel like made it feel more like we were all in it together like the cahoots and the activities like the forums we would do on student web definitely and the group activities made it feel a lot like like it brought 
classroom aspects into like the online learning, which I thought was good because I think otherwise it would have gotten a little boring or just like kind of like we were just watching a documentary or something like <laughs> if it didn't have any interaction. But yeah, I mean, there's some cons like not being able to see other people's animals and like having those. Or, like, even just lunch breaks. Like, at, in class, we would, like, when we're going on campus, on our lunch break, we would sit out and just, like, get to know each other. And, like, it made – then it made going back into the classroom feel like it wasn't really a classroom. It was nice. It was really good. But online learning, obviously, it was it was better than I thought it was going to be, I think. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um and, I forget yeah. what app it was, Marcy. Mermita? Yeah, Mermita. <laughs> I love that. That was like yeah. my favourite thing that we've done because I don't know why. It's because you sit in your room and you're looking at everything and it gets like really boring and you can like lose interest really quickly. But with that one, it was like interactive and you had to sort of like go around your room and find things. I don't know. It just kind of like woke you up when you're in that zonk kind of mode yes. which yeah, tries yeah, to be, but sometimes it's a little hard <laughs> yeah yeah for sure um Kia how did you um go back a step what did you think was the best part of being on campus when you were learning for that first term um same as the other girls I really enjoyed you know having the animals come into the classroom and getting to you know create connections with the other students and the teachers um, I found it really helpful for my learning, hearing real life stories from the teachers about the veterinary industry and, you know, all of the things that we'll hopefully get to experience one day ourselves um, to kind of put our theoretical learning into perspective. Um, so, yeah, that was really cool. Um, going online was a bit of an adjustment. Uh, I think everyone probably agrees with that. Um but I think the teachers really put in that extra effort to, you know, give us extra um, activities to do, things that we could actually kind of consolidate our learning with um, to make it that bit more interesting, a bit more fun, even though we're all just sitting at home. <laughs> so, yeah. For sure. Um, if uh, Mentimeter was your favourite, Emma, is Mentimeter also a favourite for you, Shane and Kara, or are you Kahoot people, or what's been your favourite um, activity or online kind of learning technology bit so far? I loved Kahoot. I think it was, I think it was really fun, and um, I think it was, like Emma always won them, and I think it was just it made it even funner that like. Funner, more fun that um we would all like sit there and someone just walked into my house hang on two seconds <laughs> she has to come back and start again Never mind. <laughs> um, I think it just made it more fun that like um it became it was like competitive and it became a little bit of a thing about knowledge and then we would all be like oh we clicked the wrong one that's so stupid or whatever and we would just make fun of each other but it was like fun to learn that way yeah. <laughs> is that yours too, Kahoot? Or? Yeah, um, I enjoyed Mentimeter a lot as well, but I think Kahoot um, was definitely just for that little bit of competitive, um, I don't know, competition between all of us. And it kind of just made me strive to want to know all of the answers. So it kind of helped my study then too, I guess, because I wanted to win. <laughs> I think I backing off that as well. It also... Um, made the info like sink into your head a lot more with Kahoot like things that I maybe like like you've taught us but have just like kind of not stuck into our heads as much as other things the, having them in Kahoot definitely was like because you're seeing it and you're seeing all the potential options and then like I think it just like sticks into your brain more when you're doing it that way like yeah same more, if... yeah interactive fun way to do it yeah yeah Getting if I ever got anything wrong, I'd always write it down. And I think that helped me remember everything. <laughs> I think that's the one thing I hope in like future studies that they also do, because I think that was just, yeah, really good. Well, keep it in mind for set four for next year, shall we? <laughs> 
Um, so if we think about the transition that you, uh, your group specifically had to make, because it was right after that first term that we went from on campus to, oh, we'll be back in a few weeks. Um, and then that went from a few weeks to OK next term. And then that went to not really 100 percent sure at this point what we're going to do, but we'll support you and we'll do that. Can you talk to me about how you felt in terms of the support or in terms of the um, the Box Hill Institute communication throughout COVID? Anything that sticks out? <laughs> for me, I found, I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but I found the teachers were always there for me. Like, and I found like they gave re really prompt answers as well. I don't know if it's just because you're already online and it's easy to type, but I always got a quick answer um, and they were always like so supportive, yourself, Suze, especially Suze, because that was a hard unit for me, but she was always there willing to help us out and like sort of guide us through because she understood that it's challenging having this barrier of the computer there and, you know, some people just learn better face to face, but she was so supportive and understanding of the entire process and she had like such patience with us as well <laughs> like I swear I asked the same question five times and it wasn't going in but um yeah Sue's tried to explain it like a different way each time and I don't know I just always felt really supported throughout like all the teachers that we had throughout this even though it's tough but yeah you're always there I, I agree I feel like when we found out we were going to be online I think that's one of the main things I was concerned about like because it's so easy when you're in class and you don't know something you can just like walk up to your teacher or whatever um I think that's one of the things I was concerned about or whether like you know we would have to wait three days or something for a response about a question and we'd be stressed out about it or whatever but um yeah, it was really, especially with teams, it was really good, always, as Emma said, really quick responses. And it was even better having them written down in front of you so you could, you know, read them as much as you wanted. Um, even like with Suze, I remember messaging her something about my cat, not even study related. And she took the opportunity to like, you know, explain like what my question was and then also be like and think, go back and think about, you know, the things you've learned in class and how that, you know, with your own cat, like, and it was just, just like so much support, more than I think most courses would have and probably would have had. I know I spoke to a lot of my friends in different studies um, and they were also doing online and they did not get even half of the support that I feel like we got. So I think that's really good. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the teachers were, you know, constantly reminding us if you need anything, please just reach out, um, you know, even offering to organise one-on-one -on -one teams meetings to go through things if we needed. Um, and, yeah, they were just all, everybody was really, really great, really supportive. Even with the, um, obviously, because we couldn't do pracs a lot of the time, it was very, it felt a little bit chaotic doing, you know, parts of prax and then, I'm sorry, parts of units and then going to a new unit and like leaving certain parts of units unfinished. But um, it was good to have like the refreshers. Like we, we will always have the support to go back if we've forgotten something, like before our prac days, if we forgot something and we hadn't done that unit in a little bit, like we had a lot of, you know, support about, Ref, like refreshes for our minds before we did the prac and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I'm very happy to hear this information. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me happy on a Tuesday anyway. <laughs> um, talk to me a little bit. What do you think would be a favourite bit or the best part about each of your teachers? Think of a, a teacher that you had for a particular unit, leave me out of it, but just think about who you've had for, um, for maybe nutrition and hygiene and maintain and monitor. Are there good bits that you think they've been particularly great in that you might want to comment on? Um, I feel like, I know you said to leave you out of it, but I, <laughs> I feel like Heart talking to you about certain units was really great because um, 
it wasn't, I don't know, like none of our teachers really felt like teachers, like they're really professional, you know. I mean, my last like in-class studying was high school, but um, I feel like talking to you, especially as a teacher, didn't feel like there was no pressure. Like it was just like you were having a conversation with someone and it wasn't like, I don't know, very different than like I feel like a lot of teachers could be. And even with Susan stuff and um, Janai, it wasn't like, there was just no pressure. It didn't really feel like you were talking to your teacher. It was just good. And um, I mean, Suze has been a vet for like 40 years. So she like had all the knowledge in the world and like was always just like going above and beyond with her knowledge to teach you things. It was just good. Yeah, I agree. I loved Suze. <laughs> she was just so supportive, like with teachers, there needs to sort of, well, in high school and even the university I went to, there was this like unspoken rule that they were above you and like they could tell you what to do, which I get. But at Box Hill, like with Suze, Janaya, yourself, Marcy, everyone, I felt like there was understanding. And even though we knew you were like higher up, we were almost equal, especially with Suze. Like, I could just talk to her about anything. I felt like she was my little, like, teacher of a nan. She was like my little nan. <laughs> she just looked after me so much. And she just had, like, such a big heart. Um, and it just made it so much more comfortable. And I was, like, willing to ask stupid questions and not be afraid to do so because I knew, like, I'd have supportive answers and I wouldn't, you know, get laughed at or anything. So, yeah, but all good. There hasn't been one bad, so... <laughs> Well, my knowledge has definitely improved because I knew diddly squat coming into this. <laughs> I didn't know anything. So, yeah, absolutely, exponentially, my knowledge has just grown in all sort of ways, like even down to like what Shai was saying about nutrition and stuff, like really understanding food. Um, so, yeah, I've definitely gained heaps of knowledge from day dot. Um, and I also think practically as well, like you can always pick up your cat and whatnot, but I also like – think about it now like if he's got like a bad back or whatever there's just different ways I know how to handle the pets any pet now any animal um so I think it's only been beneficial and I think everyone that loves animals and is willing to have a pet as Shai said should definitely like do something like this where you learn just even the basics of nutrition or handling or anything like that so yeah definitely I went from zero to like well, let's say like 50 at this stage. <laughs> I know it has been a little while since you've been on campus, but what did you think of the facilities when you were there? How was the coffee? That's the most important part, I think. <laughs> I have strong opinions about coffee. <laughs> oh, is it good opinions? It's my favourite. Lilydale is my favourite coffee, actually, out of the two campuses. <laughs> well, I think I, I'm like very like I need coffee every hour of my life. Um, so I was always very excited during breaks to go get a coffee. Um, I think for the most part it was great, but there was one day where I remember it was pretty not good and I was so tired that day. <laughs> I think I like, had to get like a – but other than that day, it was great, but that day was like the day I needed it the most. <laughs> But other than that, good, it's strong coffee. So that's like my level of like, it's good. If it's strong, it's great. It doesn't matter what it tastes like. It just has to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Keo? How did you find everything when you were on campus at Lilydale? What do you think of the campus? <laughs> Beautiful campus. I love Lilydale. Um, it, yeah, the, I, I mean, it was really nice to be able to go on like a little walk outside on our breaks just being surrounded by all the trees and stuff is really nice. Um, the actual animal facilities area I thought was great. I loved how it's all set up and, you know, we've got access to the rabbits and guinea pigs and all of that there. Um, coffee was also good. <laughs> I love coffee as well. So, yeah, the coffee was really good. Um, I also like the library area a lot. Um, I obviously didn't get much of a chance to explore that, but um Hopefully that'll be something I get to do in the near future, hopefully. <laughs> soon, soon, soon. <laughs> how about you, Emma? What do you think? <laughs> no, I really liked it. I loved how um, the animal kind of studies area was almost like 
not sectioned off, but had its own area, if that makes sense. So you knew like everything was nearby and <clears throat> the like animals were there, but I just felt like it was a little family down in that kind of area and it just worked. But I also really liked um, the library, the communal kind of centre where the lunch is and everything. I really liked the feel there. It felt very like everyone, no matter what you were studying, was like in sort of a, I don't know, it felt like I was in a movie type thing, you know, where you just see them all sort of like together and getting along. Um, no, I loved it. I wish I had more time to explore because there were so many like facilities and everything they described to us on orientation day that we just didn't get to see that I think would have been like really beneficial. Um, yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> um, what's your favourite unit so far and why? What was your favourite unit? You go. <laughs> I really liked, um, I mean, it was definitely the hardest unit, I think, but nutrition, I found that really interesting. I'm very, like, nutrition orientated in my house for my cats. Like, I'm always trying to find the best and, like, what, like, I'm very just food orientated with my cats. So, learning about all of that stuff in, like, detail was really good. Like, I felt with obviously studying as well and when I go to my further studies but even in just like I almost feel like this course is something everyone with pets should do like I just think it's really informative even if you don't plan on going into vet nursing um but it was just good to know about it like I didn't know how to um like I didn't know how much water down to like little things that how much water an animal was meant to eat, how to calculate all that stuff. Like, you know, cause most people just read the bags and then it's done. But like, it was just cool to learn about it and all the things like, I don't know, just in detail, everything about that unit just really interested me. And when I got to do my nutrition profile plan thing, I spent probably too long on that, uh, on that assessment because I was, so into it me and Suze had like a phone call and I was picking her brain so hard just because I wanted like she was like to me Cheyenne you don't need to do like seven different foods like how you feed your cats and I was like nope I really want to and she was like you can make it harder for yourself and I was like but I really want to do it like I I think it's so interesting just the whole nutrition side of it. Mm. What about you, Emma? Where are you at with your favourite unit? I loved VET 201 and 202. I think they're the numbers. But, yeah, those two were hands down my favourite. I think I loved it because, you know, I've always had a pet in my household, whether it's a dog or a cat or whatnot, and I've always known that, you know, dogs need vaccinations and they need to take, like, parasite control, but I never understood it. So the more we went through, like, the course and like knowing what works for what and even just like handling or picking up signs of like illness in your own pets I really loved it because I could just always picture my own dogs and cats and I'm just like hmm Lottie's a little bit like off today I wonder you know I just felt like more informed and that I could like more confident in handling animals and stuff I don't know I just love that whole unit <laughs> both of them they were really good yeah <laughs> Kia, what about yours? I also loved, um, was it daily practice routines? I think Vet 202, um, yeah. specifically general health checks. I um, I just find it all very interesting. I love learning um, the different normals for different animals and um, even learning online. I'm lucky enough that I have a stethoscope at home. So I've been practicing a lot with my own babies. Um, but yeah, I just love that unit. I found a lot of the other things covered in it were also very um, practical, like what we'll actually be doing out in the workforce. So I found it very useful and interesting and feel like it's set me up to hopefully be successful. <laughs> I have no doubts for anything. <laughs>